everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge.blogspot.com. I just finished a video on my October 2013 Birch Box, and now I'm going to review my October 2013 Echo Emmy Box. Um, and finally, the sun moved to the other side. So, if you've seen the other video, you know what I'm talking about. I had to, you know, kind of like move away from the sunshine and I'm not sure if the uh, the quality um, was very good but anyway um, I subscribe to two monthly boxes and usually what I do is two posts on my blog I usually have an open box and then I follow up with a full review of the products that were inside the box but this time around I've decided that I wanted to try to do a video for the open box instead and then if you want to know how the products work or um, my review or opinion about these products um, then you can check the blog at a later time and again that's migratechallenge.blogspot.com so now when I joined Birchbox I did the same thing with Echo Emmy so I probably joined somewhere around December 2012 and started getting my first Echo Emmy box around January or February 2013 and Echo Emmy is another one of those sample subscription boxes basically you pay $15 a month that is being debited automatically from your account and you receive samples in the mail and one of the things that I really like about Echo Emmy is that all of the samples are first of all they both either the skincare cosmetic and food items or household items so it's not just cosmetic and skincare you get a little bit of everything but they are all organic um, environment friendly cruelty free and or botanical products so they are all very very um, health oriented type products and there's a lot of companies to my surprise when I started getting Echo Emmy who do um, a lot of organic beauty products or organic skincare and as you know if you've been watching my vlog or reading my blog for a while I'm a big user of Yves Rocher brand which is a French brand of botanical beauty but it's nice to have once in a while uh, the opportunity to try um, an American brand of beauty skin care that follows the same philosophy of being cruelty free or um, botanical or completely organic. So anyway, so this is, and again, this is $15 a month. And um, as opposed to Birchbox, because it's a little bit uh, more expensive, you do get a little bit more samples, but sometimes you do get a lot of samples. And there's always, at least for what I've seen so far, my experience so far, um, there's always a full size sample inside each box each month and that makes it all worthy for me. So uh, if I was to do a review of the two compared to one another even though they're not in the same category because one is organic product and the other one is just regular brands um, I would say that Echo Emmy is probably my favorite box not just because of the amount of products that I get but also because they are always for the most part things that I really really enjoy I've rarely been disappointed with an Echo Emmy box I have to be honest with that and I'm not being solicited to do this review these are just this is my opinion and my opinion only. I'm not affiliated with Ecoemi or anything like that. So let me get started. So this is the October 2013 box. It comes in a regular UPS um, box. And when you open it, it usually has tissue paper. And it's always in colors that are coordinated with whatever the season is. And this is a Halloween box. Um, so open it. And this is what it looks like on the inside and there's always some kind of glitter and this time around the glitter is those little boo things and I think I spotted an orange one somewhere um, oh and this little <laughs> look there's a little ghost as well you see the little ghost it's so cute anyway so it's just little touches like that that, that are fun but anyway so here's the card and there's always a, a little message uh, from uh, Christine at Echo Amy um, just to let you know a little bit of what the theme is and why it's important to use these kind of products and on the back is always the list of the products that are included in the box so you can see there's quite a lot of products and once you remove all of that you can see um, some of that so let me start with the big one that's wrapped in here and the tissue paper you can reuse because they do oh it's a toothbrush oh, no. 
So you can always, you know, reuse the paper and fold it nicely and then use it for um, the holidays or if you have a little gift that you need to do, but that's neither here nor there. So this is a, hmm, Fuchs. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I'm not sure. Fuchs. Um, I don't want to say it the other way. It would not be very appropriate now, would it? Let's read the card. What does it say? Um, da -da, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Soft Pocket Travel Toothbrush by Lotus. I don't see where it says Lotus. I think I got something other than that. Fuchs Soft Pocket Travel Toothbrush by Lotus. Okay, so that would be the full size for this month. And this retails at $3.95. Um, and it reads, what a great travel size toothbrush to have handy in your purse after having some treats. It has a replaceable brush head and contains up to 95% less plastic than other brushes, even the recyclable variety. So that is an environmental friendly toothbrush made entirely of recyclable material and it is made in Germany. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. All right, so that's cool. I mean, yeah, why not? I could use that at work. Um, and it's a soft head, which is what I use. So next, next is, there's always little bags. You see that? She always has those cutest, cutest little things. So let's look at this one and always keep those little bags, by the way, because, um, and I can see there's already some cosmetics in it, so I'm pretty happy. Um, these are great for gifts. If you have like a little gift you want to make to someone, so that goes on the side. I have a ton of them by now. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, pumpkin seeds. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but these are pumpkin seeds to plant in the garden. Um, and sometimes sell by 1231 2014. Oh, that's great. That means that the seeds are still going to be good by the time we get to the next season. So I'm definitely going to try those out. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to review them yet because I'm not about to plant them anytime soon. Um, the next one is the All Natural Face Vegan Gel Eyeliner. I don't know if you can see that. Well, it's called Vegan Caramel Brani Gel Eyeliner by the All natural face and the full size would be five dollars and seventy five cents and guess what i believe that this is a full size so that's two full size products so far so what does it say just the name of this sounds delicious it's smudge proof and stays on till you wash it off the beautiful brown color is warm and inviting a perfect color for the autumn season interesting I hope it's the kind of brush that I like and no it's not it's not a felt brush it's one of those tiny little brushes that are like um, nail polish brushes but zero smell none whatsoever let's try out the color uh, let's see if we can swatch this it definitely is a warm brown we're going to let it dry a little bit and see whether or not I can smudge it. So that's pretty cool. That's funny because I was looking for another eyeliner, but I didn't think about brown. And I usually wear purple or black, but I'm definitely going to try this and uh, see how it works. So now it's been on, what, for 35, 40 seconds? Let's go like this. Oh, it does smudge. Let's leave it on a little bit longer. It is very chocolatey in color. I'm not sure... If it's gonna look good on me I would be concerned that this was actually um, kind of making my freckles pop out a little bit more because they are the same that's the same color than my freckles which I tend to hide under makeup anyway um, and then the next one is another uh, all-natural face product this is a eyeshadow that is vegan as well and it's the color is warm Honey. Let's see. Vegan Mineral Warm Honey Eyeshadow by The All Natural Face. 
uh, and they usually sell it. So that's a sample, five gram for three dollars and fifty cents, which is pretty cheap when considering that this is a um, organic vegetarian type eyeshadow. Um, and Kristen says, I'm in love with this color. The warm copper bronze tint is the perfect shade for everyone. Be creative and dip your brush in water for liquid-like eyeshadow too. Oh, so that's both dry and wet. All right, let's see how this is doing. It's not smudging. Only a little bit. Okay, so it stays on. Uh, not, yeah, it's better than the one I had in my last video so I like that I'll have to try the color so here's one of those little things that I'm probably gonna have eyeshadow all over the table so I'm gonna try to be very careful these are very hard to open ah oh, here we go I know I'm gonna have it everywhere oh no got it so this is called warm honey and if you think about it that's quite a bit of product actually right, let's try this Put just a little bit on my finger. See the color? I'm going to swatch that on my hand right here. Ooh, it does have a lot of bronze. You see how much it shimmers? It's a nice color. I like that. They go well together too. Um, let me see how much, how smudge proof this is. Oh, this has got, look at that. This has good staying power. Oh, wait, no. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, we'll try it out. Um, good to have. I normally have a lot of brown eyeshadows. I tend to go towards the uh, cooler colors like uh, uh, blues and purples, but that's a good one. I'm happy. Good box so far. All right, uh, next, what's in this little bag right here? Look at this. It's, got, it's a little Halloween bag, and it has um, spider webs on it, and I see that there's a lot of little jars and samples. See that? So I got those three things in it. So let's start with this one right here. And this is the brand is called Eco Friendly Living. And it's a dry shampoo. Natural and organic by Eco Living uh, Eco Friendly Living. And four ounces is eight dollars, so that's definitely a sample. Dry shampoo is something new to me, that's what Kristen says. So I was curious to try this out. Now I'm hooked. It removes oil and odor while leaving your hair clean and voluminous. Sprinkle a little on your hair or use a large makeup brush on the root of your hair. Let it sit for a minute, then brush it out. What a time saver. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, so a couple of months ago, I believe that Birchbox sent me a um, dry shampoo that I thought was horrendous, but it came in a spray bottle. Oh, this smells great. This has a, um, this has a spearmint. It's really, really minty, um, and it's, it's just like a talcum powder. See that? I'm definitely gonna try that. But now that I cut my hair, I don't really have problems with uh, oily hair or anything. I'm trying that just for the scent of it. Ingredients are cornstarch, cocoa powder, spearmint, ha, huh, essential oil. And you can find it at etsy.com slash shop slash eco-friendly living. Um, sprinkle or brush onto roots of dry hair, leave for one or two minutes, check out of hair. I'm definitely gonna try that. The only thing is that the last time I tried a dry shampoo, I felt that my hair became very uh, matte. They just lost their sheen altogether, and it made me look much, much older. So, but I'm gonna try this, this is cool. And it's, it smells really nice, I like that. Fortion Witch Apothecary Honey Bee Lip Balm, all right. I don't know if you can see it. Um, what does it say on this one? This one is not on the card, so I really can't help you with that one. I'm looking, I'm gonna try again. It looks like I had a uh, extra sampled today, and I'm very happy with that. And it's a lip balm, so it's, uh, I think it says Fortune Witch 
Apothecary Honeybee Lip Balm. You can see it on the inside here. And oh, it smells great. Mmm. See that? Mmm. You can tell it's uh, um, made entirely of beeswax and, uh, and honey. Oh, it feels great. This is really, really nice. Well, here you go. That's an instant review. I love this and it smells good. It's definitely honey and beeswax, but it has a, uh, a little bit of um, a hint of chocolate in it. Really, really nice. Definitely going to put that in my purse. Well, maybe I'll keep it in the car. The only thing is that I prefer to um, use lip balms that come in tubes because I'm not crazy about putting my fingers all the time in the tub. But this looks like it was a freebie. So it looks like I got an extra product this month that's not on the card, and I'm really, really happy about that. So thank you, Christine. All right, next one is this thing here, and uh, it's from Grassroots, and it's a organic shaving cream by Grassroots Essential, and the full size is five dollars. Um, and so what does it say? It says this organic shaving cream is made with shea butter and can be used for both women and men. Apply during shaving to minimize the chances of cut. And your love height makes your skin feel so smooth. Interesting. Refrigerate before opening. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. It's not like I can plan my shaving uh, routine. And I gotta remember to go and get that out of the fridge. I can't open it. I can't open it. Oh, here we go. Um, I can't say it smells like much. This is what it looks like. I can see why they want you to refrigerate it. It tends to uh, get goopy and... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's almost like an oil. See that? So I'm. So, I don't know what you do with it. Do you put that before or after? I guess you put it before. You know, shea butter can be used for both women. It doesn't really smell like shea butter. And men apply during shaving. Okay. So I guess you use that. Um, I have to try it. That's an interesting concept. I've never tried anything like this. I usually um, use the pump thing. Was it like a silky smooth? I can't remember the name. But anyway, keep I'm keeping the little bag. Too cute. All right, next one. Ooh, chocolate! Yay! Sun cups, mint cups. So these are dark chocolate mint cups by Sun Cups. Twelve count or two cups. Twelve count of two cups. Oh, so I guess there's two cups in here. Or twenty-four counts, one cup. Is twenty dollars okay I see how it works so you can get either a, a pack that has one cup and that comes in a box of 24 and that would be twenty dollars or you can get a pack that has two cups and that would count um, that would come with 12 packs 12 little packets like this and it's still twenty dollars it wouldn't be Halloween without chocolate and the mint flavor is so yummy made with white and dark chocolate cane sugar and peppermint oil it's nut-free and gluten-free too, so treat yourself. Hmm. Dark chocolate. And does it have... So what's in... Oh, it's the white chocolate inside. All right, let's read the calorie. Uh, nutrition fact, one piece, 100 calories, fat calories, 60. Ingredients, dark chocolate, organic cream, organic cane sugar, white chocolate, Organic peppermint flavor, uh, certified organic and all natural, and then it has all of the little logos here. And I believe this is also fair trade cocoa. I'm not sure. Uh, Non-GMO certified. And where's this coming from? It's called terrifically tingly. It doesn't say where it's made. Unless I go like this. Oh wait. There's another piece right here. Flap. Um, for more information about this product, email hey at 
H-E-Y, at suncups.com. Coco comes from Rainforest Alliance Certified Farms, helping to conserve biodiversity and ensure sustainable livelihoods for farmers and families in cocoa growing communities. Created and distributed by Seth Ellis Chocolatier in Boulder, Colorado. So it's made in the US. I'm gonna try that. Let me try it right away. Oh, it's food. Simply organic spicy chili. Uh, spicy chili seasoning mix by Simply Organic. 2.95 ounces. Is that what it is? No, this is one ounce. Oh, so a pack of 2.96 ounces is $4.39. Well, that's pretty expensive. October is the perfect season to be in cooking in the crock pot. What better way to start than trying out this delicious organic seasoning mix? It doesn't have to be used just in chili. Be creative and share your favorite recipe on Eco Amy Facebook page. I can see my husband doing burritos with this. And this is serving size is only one tablespoon. So there's plenty of it in this pack. Uh, this is about six serving size. Calories 15, fat zero. I'm interested in seeing the, the uh, sodium because I don't really eat salt and the sodium is 210 milligrams. That's not bad at all. Uh, what are the ingredients? Organic brown rice flour, chili, organic chili pepper, organic garlic, sea salt, organic cumin, organic cayenne, coriander, black pepper and then some organic oregano, organic allspice and organic cloves so it's pretty neat and then they give you a little suggestion in the back so awesome so yeah this was a good echo in me box I'm very happy um, not sure about the brush but hey I'm still gonna use it um, but otherwise yeah I'm very happy with this again echo I mean no matter what I'm really really disappointed they always have really really cool neat things to try and she always tried to put a chocolate piece in there, so I'm happy about that. I can't wait to try the uh, uh, eyeshadow and the um, eyeliner. And then that lip balm itself is just divine. Mm, it's It tastes really, really good. Shavy cream, I'll definitely try that. The dry shampoo, we're going to try that. Um, the jack-o'-lantern, that's going to be for next year. I'm actually planning that, I never know. And the chocolate in this. So, yeah, this was my... Uh, Echo Emmy for um, October 2013. If you're interested in uh, purchasing a subscription for Echo Emmy, just go to echoemmy.com, E C O E M I, and uh, I think you pay one month ahead of time and then you start getting your subscription. Not, again, I'm not affiliated with Echo Emmy. I was solicited to do this. Um, this is just my personal opinion. Um, and I'm just doing a review because I like this box but out of all of the boxes that I've tried so far um, I really really like Echo Emi Best so one of the things I've been thinking of about doing is maybe because I like to get makeup more than anything else is try to get into the uh, Ipsy uh, bandwagon and that's another box that's uh, $10 a month I think for Ipsy and it's spelled IPSY if you want to check it out so I think I'm gonna uh, subscribe to that because every month you just get nothing but makeup and uh, or maybe hair products once in a while but that seems like the kind of stuff that I would enjoy so let me know what you think about this uh, Echo Emmy box for October 2013 um, let me know if you're interested in getting your own if that's something that you do already if you have any other kind of boxes I'd like to hear about that uh, because I don't know everything that's going on out there on the internet and in terms of simple boxes so you may have one that I've never heard of that is kind of affordable I'm not too keen on spending anything over I'd say maybe $25 maximum per month on a box because otherwise it, when they hit it's great but when it's a mess I don't want to feel like I got ripped off so you get my feeling on that one anyway um, yes, yeah, so leave me a comment, thumbs up if you like the box, let me know what you think of it and then if you want to check out the uh, review for this box, it's probably going to be at the end of the month on the blog itself and then you can check out all of the other Echo Emmy boxes that I've reviewed in the past and there's at least 8 or 9, at least, probably more. Um, so if you want to get familiar with the, uh, the brand or the subscription box itself. 
I'm going to try this piece of chocolate and until my next box, I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.